Facts Verse presents A Homeless Woman Becomes a Millionaire After a Voice Tells Her to Start a Business. Click that like button if you'd like to have a voice talk to you like that. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Danny Johnson had a horrible upbringing. She lived with her mother and stepfather who used welfare to support her. Unfortunately, most of the money that they were given went toward their drug and alcohol habits, not towards Danny. They didn't really pay much attention to her at all, in fact. The only time they did was when they were abusing her physically, emotional, and even sexually. Every day she lived in that house was a horror. Danny's home life was terrible, so she turned to religion and she found a true support system at a church, and for a while she found the love and care that she needed there. Her home life was still horrible, but at least she had the church to go to. Unfortunately, her support system didn't last long. When she was 17 years old, Danny got pregnant by the deacon's son. When the members of the church found out, they no longer supported her. Danny hoped that she would be forgiven because that is what they always taught in church. Unfortunately, she was shunned and left the church. She gave birth to the baby, but she didn't have the means to support the child, so she put it up for adoption. The members of her church, they weren't the only ones who abandoned Danny either. Her parents did too. She didn't think that they had much room to talk considering the way that they lived their lives, but they judged her anyway. She was all alone. Danny decided that she had to do something to keep herself on track. When she was 19 years old, she had a boyfriend who invited her to a symposium where millionaire entrepreneurs were speaking. Danny thought it'd be great for her. She knew that being a high school dropout, she didn't have many options. For six months, Danny tried to get her business off the ground and she was failing miserably, so she began attending more seminars, and at one of these seminars she met a man. She thought it was love at first sight, and within seven days the couple was married, yeah, within a week. She thought things were finally turning around for her. She was 21 years old, she just married the love of her life, and she was doing great financially. But then, sadly, everything began to fall apart again. Danny's new husband talked her into moving to Hawaii with him. Unfortunately, he didn't love Danny. He was a con man and he took off with all of Danny's hard-earned money. She was left alone and she was broke. He left her only $2.03, along with $35,000 in debt. She was 50 pounds overweight and homeless. When December 1st came and she didn't have the rent, she was thrown out of her apartment she was sure that she had hit rock bottom. Danny was depressed and living in her car, so she turned to drugs to self-medicate, and for two months she was high and she was sleeping around. She only went on dates with these men, though, so she could eat. She didn't have money to feed herself otherwise. She was working as a waitress, trying to get by, but it was impossible. Danny was so lost and alone, she believed suicide was her only way out. On Christmas Eve, Danny went on a cocaine and alcohol binge with the girls that she worked with. They were on a beach, partying, and when Danny woke up she was so depressed by what she was doing and where her life was at that point that she tried to drown herself in the ocean. When she was under the water, she heard a voice that told her to pick up her mat and walk. Well, Danny rolled up her mat, walked a mile to her car, and drove 45 minutes back to the beach where she was living. She heard voices in her head, two of them one telling her to keep going, the other telling her she was worthless and to drive her car into the ocean. Fortunately, she listened to that first voice and kept going. Danny knew that she couldn't end her life just yet. She'd bought a weight loss program before she became homeless, and that was in her back seat. She had forgotten all about it until this day, and it was as though it was telling her that it would be the answer to all of her problems. Well, Danny went to a payphone and called the manufacturer, she offered to sell the program in Hawaii. She used every last cent she had to set up the business from her car, and she made handwritten flyers that she put around the island. During the first four days, she made $2,000 in sales. The next month, she made $4,000. Finally, she made enough money to find a real place to live. Eventually, she had enough money to open up a weight loss center in Hawaii. During her first year, Danny made a quarter of a million dollars. 
She made a million by the end of her second year. She began opening up more centers and training employees to run those. When she went back to California to open up another location, she met a man named Hans. He was applying for a job, and soon they were dating and she got pregnant. Things were looking up for her. Two years after Danny opened her weight loss centers, she was broke again. Somebody had embezzled all of her money. She was ready to end it all. Fortunately, Hans was still there in her life, and unlike her ex-husband, Hans truly did love Danny. So she rebuilt her business with Hans and then they sold it in 1996. Suddenly, she was a multi-millionaire, a best-selling author, a motivational speaker, and even a talk show host. She did all of this while running five companies. Today, she lives in Northern California with Hans, who is now her husband. They have five children together, and she even found the daughter that she'd given up for adoption. Her daughter had four children of her own. She's been on Oprah and Secret Millionaire. She says that hearing the voice in her head at the beach that day, it's the only reason that she is the success she is today. That homeless woman became a millionaire because of a voice that told her to start a business. Today, she's more successful than she ever thought possible. Subscribe for more.